Hello to all of you and welcome back to class. Uh, today we're gonna, well, I'm gonna teach you the topic of reported speech, something kind of difficult, confusing at the beginning. So I'm gonna be explaining you step by step so you guys can understand a little bit better because we're gonna see like, I don't know how many are in total, but at least they're gonna be for grammar tenses at the same time with this topic, okay? But first of all, let's let's start with the explanation, okay? A very simple definition. So in this case, we have reported speech. So please first help me to open your notebook and write the definition so you guys can get it. In this case, we have the definition. So it is basically a dialogue or information that somebody say to you. And we are basically saying this dialogue to someone else. So basically, let's suppose that I have a person over here and this person is telling me something to me and I have to repeat the information that he said or that she told me to another person, yeah? Another example. Basically, it is like we are communicating the information that somebody else has provided us to another person. The same thing, basically, I'm just trying to repeat or to communicate the information that the person one told me to the person three, yeah? You guys get it? Kind of like that, okay? So, I'm going to give you a few seconds so you guys can write your notes. And while you guys are writing your notes, I'm going to be erasing the board. Okay, just give me a second. I guess I'll have to use napkins because I don't have an eraser. Okay, whatever. So, um, in this case... I think that you guys pause the video so you guys can make your notes. So whatever. As I was telling you, we are just basically repeating the information or the dialogue that someone told us. I am here. This is me. And I'm basically repeating this information that this person told me to another person. Yeah, all, all you hear kind of looks very simple, but... It turns a little bit difficult when you see all the tenses that we're going to mix, okay? So, we're going to start with the easiest one. The easiest one is going to be the easiest tense that we have seen during all this time. So, the first one is going to be with present simple, okay? Or simple present. Simple present in reported speech. Simple present in reported speech. Okay, great. First of all, um, a very simple sentence in reported speech. Let's say that, um, let's say that Choi was telling us this. Um, I always um, get to school, to my school at 7 a.m. Over here, basically, we have to focus on our main verb. This is our main verb. And as you can see, the main verb is in present simple. I mean, the verb is in present. Present, if you remember, or if you're kind of forgetting the stuff, is very simple. We have get, got, and gotten. We are basically using the verbs in present or in base form. Yeah? This ones are the ones that we're going to see. First, okay, it's present simple. Okay, so we have the information or the dialogue that Choi is communicating to me, and I need to communicate that same dialogue to another person. Let's suppose that I'm communicating that dialogue to my to Miss Sophia. Okay, that's the first example. So, in this case, we need to focus first on the personal information. Okay, how is the personal information? Or, yeah, I'm going to call it that way. Personal information. Personal information, I'm going to be circling it with the blue color. So, personal information, it refers to everything that involves the information of a person. I, I will say that way. So, we have I, we have my, and I think that's everything that we have. So, first of all, I'm gonna write kind of like a, yeah, I'm gonna write this so you guys can get, how is it, 
Well, first of all, write examples, please. I'm gonna give you five seconds, or just pause the video so you guys can write an example over there. And after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain you this so you guys can understand a little bit better. Okay, two seconds, one, two, or pause the video. Okay. So we have personal information. We have the subjects. We have the possessive adjective. And we have the object pronoun, object pronoun. Okay, whatever. So in this case, remember, subject, it refers to, I mean, basically the person, I or the subject. Yeah, the subject of the sentence. You, he, she, it, they, and we. Yeah, we already know that. That's very basic, right? Okay, whatever. So in this case, we have the possessive adjective. It refers to the basically like, yeah, like it belongs to someone. Yeah, this is my board. This is your marker. This is his plant. That's her cell phone. It's ball, their house, and our classroom. Yeah, those things belong to us. Yeah, that's an example. And finally, the last one is the object pronoun. Remember, this one is referring to the person, yeah? I mean, like, for example, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to you. No, I'm not talking to Marcos. I am talking to him, that guy over there. Or I'm talking to her, yeah? It, I need to talk to them, yeah? We don't say, I need to talk to they, no, we say, I need to talk to them, referring to a person, yeah? When you are referring to a person. And finally, we have uh, us. Are you talking to us? Yeah? <laughs> okay, whatever, so, copy this, uh, copy of this chart. I'm gonna give you three seconds or pause the video so you guys can copy it. And after that, we're gonna mix this information that we just have learned with the first sense of reported speech, which was simple present, okay? Okay, I think that you guys already paused the video. So yesterday I was trying to uh, find a place to hang my board. It broke, but whatever. Okay, so um, going back to the explanation that I was telling you, we have the first sense, the first tense that it was present simple or simple present and we have the example I was chewing and Chui was telling us I always get to my school at 7 a.m. yeah okay so in this case, remember that Chui is the person who is telling me the information and I need to say that information like that he told me to another person, to Miss Sophia. That was the example that I told you, right? Okay, so as I, as I told you before, we have the, the information, of, um, I mean the total personal information and that one we need to basically look who is the person and identify who is, the, I mean, basically the subject and change all that information, I mean, just wait. So first of all, let's circle it. We have I and we have my, and that's all the information that we have. Yeah, if we had another one, we'll circle it, but as you guys can see, that's the only two words that we have of the chart on this sentence, okay? Remember our main verb, we're gonna put it on the square so you guys can see it. Okay, whatever, so in this case, when we have the verb in present simple, always, 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 we have to change it to past, okay? So what is the past of get? It's got, I already told you. So in this case, basically, one more time. When we have our present simple reported speech, um, uh, when we have that tense in, in present simple, we change it to past simple, okay? Just in past. So for example, we have the main verb, which is get, and we change it to, and we change it to got. 
Let's suppose that we have another example. Let's say that we have the verb eat and we are going to change it for eight. It's just the verb in past. So another example, so you guys can get it. Let's suppose that I have the verb um, deliver. It's in present. And that one, in reported speech, I have to change it to past. Deliver it. ED, because it's regular. Okay? So, basically, as I was telling you, we have to change our main our main verb into past. So that's the first thing and the difficult thing that we have to do. So in this case, get, we're going to change it for got. Okay? So that over here turns a little bit more difficult because we are mixing all the personal information of the person. Yeah? So in this case, as I was telling you, we have to communicate that information to Miss Sophia. Yeah? So I'm going to be the person who's communicating. So I'm going to say, should we say that Chuy dijo que Chuy dijo que ¿Qué dijo Chuy? Bueno, acá Chuy te está diciendo He's telling you I always get to my school at 7 a.m. Yo siempre llego a mi escuela O, oh, yeah, a las 7 a.m. Entonces, over here I have to change Ya no voy a decir Chuy dijo que yo llego O sea, yo no soy Chuy I'm not Chuy In this case, it's going to be different I have to change it for another subject So, in this case Chuy Obviously, Chuy is he. So in this case, instead of I, we have to change it for he. So he say that he, that he, I, I have to change it for he because our subject is a male. So we have to change it for he. There's no other option. There isn't any other option. So we say that Chuy, he say that he always, Remember what I told you? What do we have to do? Over here, we change it to past because I was over. this one is over there. That you always got to, to what? To my school, to his school, to her school. Remember, it's he. So in this case, it's going to be his. Porque se está refiriendo, it's referring to his school. Yes? As simple as that. To his school at 7 a.m. Yes, that's the first example. I'm going to tell you another example, okay? Oh, we have 12 minutes already. Okay, it's going to long. Just pause the video so you guys can make your notes, and there you go. You guys are smart. So whatever. In this case, I'm going to give you two more examples so you guys can get it, and at the end, I'm going to write the, uh, the few exercises that you have to do on your notebook, and those ones are the ones that you have to deliver to me, okay? So... Second example, let's suppose that, um, let's suppose that Pancho is telling us this, Pancho and, bueno, let's change it for a girl, so in this case, let's suppose that Sofia is telling us this, Sofia Molina, okay, so Sofia is telling us this, mm, I, or, I sometimes, I sometimes um, play with my brother in the afternoons. Yeah, that's an activity that she often does. Okay, so in this case, what's our main verb? The main verb, well, the only verb that we have is play. That way, put it on a little square. And the personal information, that's the one that we have to circle. So in this case, we have I and we have my that's the only personal information over here so remember this is the dialogue the original dialogue that she told you so you need to communicate that dialogue to me sophia as i told you so in this case i'm gonna try to say the same information but with different words remember in reported speech we are basically saying the same but we are using another tense yeah as simple as simple as that so first of all let's go oh well, let's start with the easiest part, which was a verb. When we have it in present simple, we change it to past. What is the past form of play? Play. So in reported speech, this is the verb that we have to use, okay? You guys already know that. So personal information is the one that I show you on the chart. So in this case, Sofia Molina is a girl, so obviously we have to change it. All that information for a girl. So in this case, Sofia save that that what i know over here we change it for she so she 
sometimes main verb played with with my brother no it's not my brother it's gonna be another one so in this case it's her brother it's el hermano de ella so in this case her brother in the afternoon blah 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 that's gonna be complement okay just copy the example put pause and finally the third and last example so you guys can do it okay last example so let's suppose over here i have i have a pancho and angel so pancho and angel over here they're saying our teacher always our teacher always um our teacher always i don't know what to say okay whatever our teacher always um gave us gives us a lot of homework yeah so over here we have our teacher always give us a lot of homework so in this case as you guys know what do we have to do we have to identify our main verb our main verb is gives that one we have to change it to pass what is the, the pass of give is gave. so this one is the one that we have to use in reported speech Again, remember, in reported speech, we always change our tense or the ten, all the verbs, yeah. So in this case, gives is going to be changed for gave. And we have, to, what do we have to do with the personal information? We circle it. We have our, and what else do we have of the chart? We have us. So that one, we have to change it. So in this case, the last example will be like this. Pancho and Angel say... Over here, they say, or Pancho and Angel say that, que nos dijeron, that their, their teacher, su teacher, o sea, se refieren a de ellos, their teacher always, always gave, gave them, le dio a ellos, refiriéndose to them, referring to them, gave them a lot of homework, yeah, and that's going to be our last our last example okay so uh just make a pause really quick and after that i'm gonna write the five or well, i'm gonna send you no i don't know okay whatever so i'm gonna write the examples or the exercise that you guys are gonna do and that's all that's gonna be everything for today you're gonna be only seven i guess seven not a difficult so seven are gonna, are gonna be in total Okay, so remember, we have to change the following the following uh, sentences into the reported speech form. Okay, yeah, seven, seven will be fine. So in this case, so let's suppose that Elba, so we do this, my cell phone, my cell phone makes uh, a weird noise. That one's real. That one's gonna be really easy. The second one, uh, Carlos. Um, I never study math with my friends. Okay, and the the last one I'm gonna tell you so you guys can write it. Number three, uh, let's suppose that Alex and Roberto is telling you this. Alex and Roberto. So, oh, we're... Never mind. So, I'm going to write it. Cause... <laughs> yeah, okay. So, Alex and Roberto. Alex and Roberto. Mm, we sometimes... We sometimes... Mm, cook with our mother I'm gonna write six in total so I'll be nice to you uh, then number four let's suppose that Miss Sophia is telling you this you well I always check my students homework Number five, and teacher 
Franco Mas, he's telling us this. Uh, my students rarely play in my class. And finally, the last one, let's suppose that um, Alexandra is telling us this. I usually I usually do my homework with my cousin. There you go, we have six sentences in total. So those ones are the ones that we have to deliver and that's gonna be everything for today. Bye guys.